this is Gila. And today also Gingy, who just decided to come in. He's one of our cats. He's actually lovely, so sweet, so laid back. And he has a girlfriend we've called Kitty, who he likes to cuddle up with. She's a bit younger than him and I, he likes to look after her. Anyway, tonight is the last day of Passover. And outside of Israel, it actually lasts for two days. Here in Israel, we'll be putting away all the special cooking pots and other things we just use for Passover on Wednesday night and then return to normal whatever normal actually is these days. And of course, normal will take some time thanks to coronavirus. On a personal note, my brother-in-law who lives in Jerusalem caught it, but he's now feeling much better. And I'm sure many British people will be relieved that our Prime Minister Boris Johnson survived this modern plague, despite coming close to dying from it and is on the road to recovery. Years ago, when I first felt the pull of Israel and especially Jerusalem in my soul, I remember a very lovely lady I met here, actually a Catholic, an open-minded one, telling me that she'd met many different people who believed different things and who all thought they were right. Indeed, when personally I was still a Christian nearly 20 years ago now, I remember one time looking at other ordinary people in the street in my hometown in England and thinking, these people are going to go to hell after they die if they don't accept Jesus. And that made me feel deeply uncomfortable and rationally, I couldn't accept that that was actually right. And there's a similar teaching in Islam that you're going to go to hell, complete with graphic descriptions of vile tortures there for eternity, unless you accept and then stay within that belief system. I might add that the Jewish concept of hell, and there's an, actually a valley called Gehinnom, which means hell in Jerusalem. I remember walking along one day and um, a friend of mine pointed it out, said, oh, that's hell down there. Really? Oh, okay, Gehinnom. Anyway, the Jewish concept of hell is at most a temporary painful cleansing of the soul after death before returning to the presence of the loving creator of the soul. No eternal torment. There has to be some kind of justice in this belief system, but also mercy and also love. How could any truly loving Heavenly Father condemn any of us to eternal torture after death simply because we can't bring ourselves to believe certain things. Isn't how we live our lives ultimately far more important? Isn't it important that whether we believe in God or not, whether we follow any particular religious path or not, that we do our best as human beings to try to leave the world a better place than the one we found it? that we can try and become kinder and more loving people as we grow older in our relationships. And just think of the many, many advances that make our lives so much better in many ways than those of our ancestors. Modern medicines, treatments that allow so many of us to enjoy good health into our golden years. Many of us today struggle not to put on too many extra pounds, myself included because we have an abundance of food. Most of us don't suffer from fleas or lice, and if we ever do, we can get rid of them easily enough. And personally, I have so many clothes, I don't really know where to put them all. But there's so much to be grateful for, if you think about it. And our bodies are amazing feats of engineering, continuing on for most of us without our even having to think about our hearts continuing to pump and our lungs continuing to breathe. What can unite us as human beings is so much more than what divides us. And our actual differences make each one of us unique and special. You can do something for good in your life that no one else can do. But 
If you're following a belief system that tells you to abuse or even murder other human beings simply because they don't agree with you, I can assure you as an Orthodox Jew nowadays who encountered much in the way of spiritual help uh, on my journey home from the Creator, you are not following a path that truly comes from God. If you're following a belief system that tells you that people outside it are going to be tortured in hell for eternity after they die, even if they're the nicest and kindest people you could wish to meet, that doesn't ultimately come from God either. Take the best of Christianity, of Islam, of Hinduism, of Buddhism, of atheism, of life. But be very wary of any dogma that would condemn other human beings to abuse, death or torture, whether in this life or in the next, simply because they don't think the same way as you. Thank you so much for listening. I wish the best for all people around the world. Try and become better and kinder in how you live. And let's hope we can all return to some kind of normal soon after this coronavirus. And all those who've lost loved ones will find some kind of comfort in their grief. <laughs>